What really causes human stupidity and stupid actions is half knowledge, half education. You've read a few books about a subject and you think you know the answer and then you take action, but you've only seen half of the picture. You've not delved into it deep enough. Hello everyone out there. My name is Robert Green. I'm the author of several books. My first one is perhaps the most famous one, The 48 Laws of Power. I've also written The Art of Seduction, The 33 Strategies of War. I co-wrote a book with the rapper 50 Cent called The 50th Law. I did a book called Mastery, Another Laws of Human Nature, my most recent book, The Daily Laws. As you can tell, my books sort of center around subjects dealing with power and interpersonal relationships. I wanted to talk about human stupidity, a subject that's very uh, dear to my heart, or I prefer the French expression, which I think is kind of more poetic, la bêtise humaine, human, well, human stupidity. Just sounds better in French. Anyway, after I wrote The Art of Seduction, I had intended on writing a book on the history of human stupidity based on the Greek concept that far more problems are created in this world by people who are stupid and incompetent than by those who are actually evil, right? And I've always been very enamored by that because I think that it's true that stupidity is a lot more dangerous in this world. Hello everyone, today's video is brought to you by Babbel, the foreign language learning app. Now, as you may or may not know, I speak several foreign languages. My French is very good, my Spanish is very good, my German is so-so, my Italian is kind of weak, but I can honestly say that learning foreign languages is one of the greatest experiences in my life. It has given me intense discipline. It's opened up literature, things I can read in foreign languages. It gives me a new way of thinking about the world. It opens a whole new vistas. I get to talk to people in their language. It's a wonderful experience. I want you all to have. But learning a language is not easy and there are a lot of apps and books out there that quite frankly suck. They don't really give you a practical sense of how to converse with everyday people. And Babbel, I can honestly say, is one of the leading apps in this new technology in teaching you a foreign language. On se détendrait. On se détendrait. It's absolutely brilliant. It gives you very practical templates and chunks that you can master that you can now build on for conversing about business things you have to do about travel problems about relationships etc etc now Babel has several subscription offers that you can avail yourself of they also have a lifetime subscription and by clicking on the link below you can get a 60 percent discount on a current subscription to Babbel. I highly recommend that you go there and try this out. And thank you very much. And now back to the video. But the publisher didn't like the idea. They thought it was too negative, that we would not be able to sell it so well. And so I ended up segueing into a book on strategy and warfare, in which I got in the theme of human stupidity. But I've always kind of regretted that I never got to do that, write about that subject that I really love. And so I just wanted to talk very briefly about what I think stupidity is and why I believe we're seeing more and more of it in the world today. And the idea about stupidity is not what you think it is. Stupidity is actions that lead to unintended consequences, that lead to disasters that you hadn't foretold. It leads to wars that spiral out of control. It leads to economic trends, bubbles that people get all excited about that end up creating a recession or a depression, etc., etc., etc. And we're all prone to doing stupid acts, myself included. But stupidity does not originate from ignorance, which is the wrong idea. When you are ignorant, when you don't know anything about something, you are generally a little bit humble. You realize, I don't know anything about physics, so I'm not going to try and do something with physics. I don't know how to fix things personally. I'm very bad at it with my hands and I don't know anything about plumbing. So I'm not gonna suddenly go and try and fix the plumbing in my house. That would be an act of rampant stupidity. No, stupidity originates from half knowledge, from people who are half educated, who think they know enough, who've read a few books, who've educated themselves on a subject, but they've not delved into it deeply enough. So what happens when you look at something halfway like that is you're generally falling under confirmation bias. You're looking for the kind of information that you want to find, the kind of, you have a goal 
you have a film project or a book you want to write or some business you want to start, you do the research, but you kind of look for the things that already confirm what you want to believe. And based on that, you take action. And lo and behold, things don't turn out as you expected. Chaos ensues, bad things start happening you hadn't foreseen. And the problem is, is that you become too certain with the kind of half knowledge that you have with the little bit of research that you've done. You think that you know the answer and you get filled with, with this excitement. You feel get filled with this certainty and the conviction that you know what you're going to do and you go charging into this action, into this business, into this project. Opposite happens, you're not prepared for it and you react and you make things worse and more and more unintended consequences occur with a kind of a cascading effect. So a gauge that I often use for myself or for other people is when I see people full of conviction, full of certainty about an action, yes, cryptocurrency is the future, Yes, Bitcoin is going to change this world. My little bullshit radar meter starts going, boop, 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 goes up and up and up and I go, something is wrong here. Because when people have to act with so much conviction, with so much emotion and certainty, they're trying to convince themselves. They are a little bit uncertain, they have some doubt, but by acting full of conviction, they're actually trying to convince themselves that what they want to believe is true. If you actually know a subject, if you've actually delved into it deeply enough, you don't feel so certain. You actually realize that a situation is more complex and therefore you kind of tamp down that emotional quality. In the back of your mind, you go, I've researched this very thoroughly, but I'm not exactly sure it's the right thing. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. You don't have that kind of hot temperature that you see a lot of people now have with their kind of outrage and their conviction, which is a sure sign to me that they're trying to convince themselves that they're full of doubt. So when you're looking at yourself and you feel so certain about your action, about your project, that's the moment when a little bit of alarm must go off in your head and go, am I fooling myself? Am I about to do something very stupid that's going to have consequences I don't realize? I better step back. I'm going to do more research. I'm going to take in more perspectives. I'm going to think more deeply about what's going on. I'm going to educate myself. I'm going to get more knowledge than a kind of shallow internet exploration of the subject. And then maybe I will alter my plan and then go forward. That is to me the only antidote to what I see as a kind of torrent, a kind of plague of stupidity that's sweeping across the globe right now.